Hi guys, it's me, just learning again. And for this video, last video of the Halloween season for 2023, I shall be covering this movie. Orphan First Show. Now, I gotta admit, it sounds kind of a weird one. Because I like the first one. I like often, it was a pretty straightforward movie with a very interesting twist to it. But, um, this one is very, very confusing, convoluted. Plus, it sits on the, it sits on the, um, and the first uh, movie in the in the in the credit sequence is Jill Hot Esther manipulate the system and uh, and change around some papers to to make it that she was adaptable in America. And let me just say that it was um very strange that they changed that because it was rock solid beginning. But this is a sequel. In fact, it's a prequel to that movie. And it first starts out with Esther or Lena, if you will. And she starts out like in the, in the, I think Estonia. That's near that's the East Europe. Near Russia, and um, even the title suggests first blood like that r rainbow will be, but this movie is a um, little bit different than that. I am glad to see that Isabel Furman is back in the role of Aspen or Lena, as she called it in this one. Now, um with Lena, she's definitely um, psychotic, definitely crazy, definitely uh, weird. But um, there is something a lot about, about her. I mean, physically, she grew up since the last time she made the movie, first often. So she got a little bit of a, she got lots of the little kid charm. And I think that they manipulated the scenery around her to make it seem to be shorter, shorter than the other adults in the, mo in the movie. So they were like, um, I don't think, raised up the platform or something that they made the girl, you know, bigger. You know, they meet everyone else taller by proxy, and they meet her shorter. And they probably use child uh, stunt doubles when they had a ring and do all kinds of other things like murder. So I didn't notice that every time that they showed her face, they didn't show her lights. So more likely, they probably just meet the other people. See the plot to the top and whereas with her she probably just was in like a little lower part of the chair where I've had a case of and also her face changed a little bit from the first movie. So um I, I can't really show it to you right now because of the way I got camera set up but it's a little bit different. But he does have a trademark choker collar and his trademark uh, bracelets in the fabric to, to, to hide the effect that he tried to uh, escape from the bond to be free. Now, this is very odd because, you know, in in the movie he wanted to be part of his family and uh, he wanted to be. You know, she wanted to hook up with the husband of that family. 
So I'm good with the freedom come from I be mean, like a weird psychotic thing they have there. I wanna be free, but yet I wanna be with uh I mean and she has a hair in the cute little pill to make her look like a little kid still. Now the point is that in the first movie she had the take teeth to make her look a good normal little girl. And yet something you have to take teeth, but I need to uh pretty average teeth for what they are. Not the no the no pretty teeth of the first movie. So there's a little bit of a weird thing because I think it's probably like you younger maybe you younger than in that one so I don't get why that's so different and it didn't work. Also um <clears throat> you put a, little, put a little bit around with it in that the people that adopt Esther they realize that she's making a performance you know, that she trying to play them up and all that stuff but I'm gonna get to it in a little bit anyway. We first meet with Nat when she's in the mental home, the SARS Institute. I believe that they went for a guy that looked very similar to the actor from the first movie. And that uh, he got a beard and a weird um, a, a, a European accent. So that that... And then there's the, the part where, um, where Lena is more of a being highly dangerous. Now, um, and to not treat like a little kid, which is what, a very wise idea indeed. But, um, she, she gets afraid to stab somebody. And a new art teacher, a new art psychologist, whatever that means. And, um, she, he, they eventually do show her killing one of the, one of the um, officers, one of the security guys, who probably doesn't even know that she's got a hormonal condition where she looks like young. So, anyway. She killed them, and then another security guard blocked away. But um, she I guess paid off when they when the other nut job in the place the attack on command for for a piece of candy. I don't know how that works out, but whatever. So it's gonna be like a really stump within the psychotic people. But, whatever, that is a movie. So then, after, I said, you know, he just right with the woman, the art teacher, and takes her, and she takes her to her home, her home. And she probably kills her, kills her right then and there, to keep her secret away from anybody. Now, she's then put into a doctor agency, where a family that was thought to have loved her, the little girl in Europe ended up taking Esther home with them, thinking that the, that she's the little girl that they lost, which doesn't a whole lot because if you're own kid, you would think you would know what he sounds like, what she sounds like, what she looks like, what she likes to eat, you know, all the other important stuff. So they, they, they do that, they bring them back home. And uh, they, um, the mother loses a few things about her that are cut off from her real daughter. From the real adopted daughter, Esther. Now, um, her real name is Lena, but she takes on the 
the tree, the identity of the little girl as the 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 body. But she she um she doesn't really uh, die too well. For example, she picks up the mother picks up on the fact that the little girl had an accident at the wall. Second of all, she realizes that the girl is um very cool with the piano. Therefore she's very into painting. And she's a perfect little angel, unlike her real daughter. Now, um, she brings up the psychologist and the psychologist says that Drug part of her top of her area with with living. The mother isn't buying it. Mother does pick up on it. It does suggest mm, that we're going to take you home. You don't behave yourself. And she does call her out for being a a person who's um not who she really is. And the funny is that she don't keep with it. She kills a security officer and helps Esther, you know, keep the secret. And she even talked to the girl as, you know, as if they were friends, that they were chums. Now, this is where the movie gets kind of weird to me now, that the kind of, the woman knows about it and plays along with it too. So, um, did you do this? Did you do this to, to, to play along with other? And uh, the, the, the son is like a college age kid who admits to two Esther. Doesn't that mean they go to the, the, top, the, the top sister or that did kill the fake Esther? And when he threatens her, which is not a good thing because we go on in the movie. Esther killed the kid, killed the guy. And it's kind of confusing. It's bloody, very gory. It's more gory than the first movie. I guess Esther must have felt no doubt. Anyway, um, they show that Esther carries uh, around her Bible. And she learns painting from the husband. Now I think the husband is the same or similar to the guy from the first picture, picture from the first movie. Now um, they also show um, uh, that the mother actually does pick up on all the uh, techniques that she can use. That it's used it like um seducing the father, you know, pretending to be a little girl driving away between them, trying to sort of the father, all the other stuff. So it's almost like the mother is in on the script process in that she knows exactly what's going on, exactly what's gonna happen, exactly what's gonna happen. Go down and thought and how it will do that. It's kind of a kind of brings up the wall a few times with that. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that it doesn't blow the whistle on this little girl, this little imposter, this little actor. You know, you would think that something's wrong and I'm going to not get away with it. Get away with murder. Literally murder in this case. So, I would like to say that this movie is not really that good compared to the first one. The first one was good. It was simple. This one's got too many ins and outs, too, too much of uh, looking up on 
secret, secret and twist and all that other stuff. I am not going to be playing it at all. And I will put it in thumbnail. I did, I did put it in thumbnail. Oh, often with um with this cover so that you'll be able to see the differences in after the first one is more like stylized where this one is more like her for me is real face also um still looks like my cousin and I'm pretty sure you can do that not so clear like in the first one but in this one, there are some funny moments like when she says, fuck off to somebody, or fuck you. And my mother even says, I'm going to go upside down and fuck my husband. And then she said, in, in the other one, this is kind of like a, she's kind of still rough around the edges a little bit, you know, trying to, you know, figure out how to do that to a PD down the impact, impersonation of a little kid. Also, we can't find that. See, it's still from in the smoking and drinking while in the chamber of um, Esther. And you see it. Smoking and drinking in the car. And it's really funny. Real cathartic. And it crushes here, watching the blood that the people just killed. All that. Now, the part in the end where she killed the son in a very gruesome way, and that uh, they show her fighting with the mother, and they get on the rooftop of the building, catch fire and stuff, and they both calling out for the husband to help her help him out. And it's one of those things where it's like she's one and the other one dies type thing. Can't, can't see them both. So, what happens is, um, Luca and the mother are over there hanging by a cutter, and the father is, like, which one do they pick? Which one do they save? And the mother said to the father, you know, look, you know, look, if you're going to have to save me. As the no, 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 help me, help me, daddy, help me, help me. Put on the, the, uh, big stuff. So then, the, the father helps out the little girl. Obviously, a mistake, because as he's feeling up her face, making sure she's alright, the clothes to come out. And before that happened, the mother ended up falling to her death. We're big with a fine twist of a head. So then, at the, the father's turn up the daughter's face, and I know that the wrong the way. What is, they show the little girl, um, her point coming out, or big piece coming out. And the father, what the fuck is this? Do you get them? The mother was right. His wife was right. And she is an imposter. Then she pushes the guy off the, ground, off the ledge of the ceiling of the, of the roof of the house. And, uh, <clears throat> and he died with, with her next door. And was ready to be stupid, like, say, like that. Holding the hands out, you know, something dumb like that. I mean, the, I mean, they could do a credit scene where they show up after walking away from the burn room. Nice house, by the way. You show them walking away from the house and, like, um, it ends up to the end. The woman had said, who wouldn't want to, who wouldn't want to adopt Esther? Sweet, innocent little Esther. Now, um, that's what he said. 
there's, there's always been something wrong with actors. Not this. Let's cut the truth that there's something wrong with actors. But in the first one, that was something in, in, in the bottom of the movie. There, there was always something wrong with Esther. In, in, in the first movie, there was something wrong with Esther. So, I would think that it's kind of re reversed, where, you know, with this one, the, the always. But what if it's something minor? Anyway, you know, would I recommend this movie? Um, well, I feel like we we movies would like that was tuned by a little kid, psychopath. Yeah, I do recommend this movie. But, yeah, not that cool people would like the better one. Like me. I just bought this movie out of curiosity. Because I, I just had to see how it ends. How it picks up to, to where the uh, where this one, where the lots of you know, I want to see how this one ends. Yeah, how it picked up where the lots of one ended. You know what I mean? Like where the other one began. We're all kind of setting up for Esther to be coming over. Whereas I, I, in the first one. Believe that Esther was in in um, Europe still. It, this one, she's clearly in America. I could be wrong on that one. I could be wrong that she made the start out in America in the first one. So I don't know. Anyway, I didn't, I didn't see that much controversy with the sneaker. Not from the orphanage uh, people. So, I uh, thank you for watching all my videos on Halloween season 2023. You know, I enjoy the quality videos. I enjoy the all the Frankenstein regulars. That's what I do. All the others. I have to. Bit movie before like Ghost of the Eighth War, um, Frankenstein, the Hentai movie I did, etc., etc. But there were, there were other movies that I haven't seen before, like, uh, Dracula, like, uh, I haven't seen Resident Evil in a while, so it gets a count. Not for review purposes, but like pleasure watching with very sexy Miller Yoba bitch. That's the that's point. Um, I haven't had seen Buffy in a while too. We can't the best. And, um, you know, I, I haven't seen the werewolf one either by Nickelodeon. I'm first Nickelodeon movie I'm just to get channel by the way. Oh, it was fun. Anyway, um, and if you like what you see here and you want to see more of my videos and such, you know, subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell, you can share, like the video, comment on it, and if you have any more suggestions for any future things I can do, or any projects or videos I can do, you can contact me using my cell phone number at 7 And if you want, you can contact me on Twitter or X if you prefer at Nelson Pro. Uh, also, if you want, you can uh, give me on my email at JJ channel at gmail dot com. So nice loop. Everybody that is in love with this movie. 
I well, I love it's just me as a as a how I do why I kind of you know, as to it um for always beloved to me and I believe that she was like taught taught in the first movie in this one. I guess you could say it with eight, you know, it's supposed to be nine in this one, but twelve in the other one. But, um, I don't know. How much you could really grow in that, in the time span? Not much, I would say. <laughs> Let me mean to believe that they went a height, a uh, change in plot from them, stuff like that. Yeah, I I thought the the first movie, the second one, uh, I don't know. But um, yeah, the strong confusing the weird movie. So yeah, so I I love all the actors in it too. I love the Sony. It's an accent coming from woven in in this in this the film. It's quite nice to see that the the S do does it need to have it make how to make book in the first one. So although I guys and had a fun have a high being see probably this year. Bye.